All right, guys, we are here at First Stab Liquors in the lovely St. Petersburg, Florida. This is always a spot that I come down to when I come here. There's the new spot that they're opening up over there, like what, three doors down. But we're going to go in here, check out the place. You guys are coming with me. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, guys, so uh, right when you walk in, you can see that it is a really good place. They have not just bourbon and whiskey here, but they have a lot of stuff over here. So first, let's uh, go and check out some other things here. So these are things that are on sale. We got a lot of duck door products. I'll get a southern half of vanilla. I'll get a pink berry seed. Get a large one. Whiskey Smith chocolate. Some rednecks, old tub. So, pretty cool. They have a little area back there where you can taste stuff. Now, it is something that I have to say to you guys is the fact that they're moving. So what you guys are seeing here is just something that until they fully move over, which is like just a few doors down, you guys are just seeing basically them kind of surviving here because little by little they are moving stuff over. So here's like a whole bunch of high west that they have. Campfire, rendezvous, double rye, pretty good prices there. And the owner here, Marcia, she is awesome. She is really cool. Um, damn, look at that. Restoration rye, some old elk, what's that, Ezra Brooks. So obviously they're stocking, but at the same time, they're also getting to um, move stuff all the way to the other store, which, like I said, is two doors down, right? I'm gonna go pretty quickly through here. So that's some of their scotch. Here's some of their Canadian stuff here. Some of their tequila selections. now what we all came to see which is the bourbon so right off the bat you guys will see here we got some jack daniels got the single barrels the uh, sinatra that's a pretty good price on the sinatra now what you should know about this place is that every all the prices that you see is already taxes included right so while it might be a little bit more that you see there all the taxes are included already, right? So when you look at it, it's basically the same price as other places. Just checking around here. We got a lot of the Bardstown stuff. So look at all that Bardstown. That's probably my favorite right there. I heard this is really good. And I've tasted the uh, Disco 11. There's the collaboration series right there. Plantation Rum, Fox and Eden. By the way, thank you, Dave Vogelsan. He sent me some Fox and Eden, and Odin, sorry. And uh, that is pretty tasty. I've never tasted a three-chord cask finish, so that one is interesting. Got some Maker's Mark, some more Maker's Mark here. Here, we have some Doc Swinsons. There's a few more Doc Swinsons that uh, we've seen before at other places. Let's go down here, some Kosuba, some Long Branch, Rare Breed, some Wild Turkey. Love the Old Soul. Damn, I haven't seen a bottle like this of Wild Turkey in a while. Over here, I don't know if I showcased it, but we got the 13th Colony, that Frank August. Let's go back over here. Some Rebel. 
the WB Saffles and the Bon the Lillard. High Road Rye Sweet Mash. Huh. It's 93 proof. This is amazing. I haven't tasted this one. So I might have to get that. River Set Rye, which is going away for the uh, Blue Note Green Label. Look at the early times. 17 bucks. Here we got some Lucky Sevens. This is awesome. The Holiday Toast. What is... Is build number eight for that architect. Pretty, pretty good. So let's move over here, guys. We have some more Doc Swinsons. These are really good. Look, Funky Drummer, Alter Ego, Session Blend. Huh. We got the two XOs, the Phoenix, the Tribute, and the Innkeeper, some Blackened, Woodenville, High Plains, Rye. Alright, now we got some Blue Run and Short Barrel. So, Bees Knees 3. There we go, guys. This is amazing. If you haven't gotten that, you definitely need to get that. We got the El Hefe. The El Hefe 3, I believe, is about to come out. So. It's not my jam, but it's still good either way. Got some Traverse City, some OKI, that's really good. Some Cooper's Craft, Yellow Bird, never heard of that. This I haven't seen in a lot of places since it came out like maybe a year or two ago. So it's cool to see it there. Some Knob Creek. Here we got some big old, some uh, Widow Jane. And something called Big House. Some Belfort. Triple Crown. And then, you know, everybody's favorite, the Duco. So I think we got everything there. Some Jack Daniels McLaren, some Glendolo, that collaborative uh, series of stout barrels. <laughs> I thought it was 48 bucks. I was like, nah, that can't be it. <laughs> you know, I wanna get an old St. Nick, but a bourbon. Only ones I've seen are the rice. I got a whole bunch of smoke wagons. I've got the Tin Cup, Philly Buster, Fox and Odin, Bull Run. So here is the Peerless High Ride. People are looking for that. Not a bad price on that. And quite honestly, this you don't see it that much here, right? So here we have some more bourbons, 1910, 1920 is all gone, some rabbit hole, some of the basil Haydens, some whistle pig. Redwood Empire there, TX, Elijah Craig, some Evan Williams, some more old Foresters. I'm looking for that Screaming Giant or even the Furley Burrow or whatever, whatever the heck it's called from Redwood Empire. So if you guys know where I can get it locally, let me know. This is a great one. Eh, that one not so much. <laughs> move over here they have a few more town branches I haven't seen a lot of these so that's pretty good I liked I like a uh, town branch prideful gold right there some barrels all right 
let's go here to their limited quantities and releases so some of these you could get the ones that are open right you could actually go in there and get and the cool thing is that sometimes Marsha she puts like uh, hidden gems and stuff so you could be looking through there and just find like an allocated bottle it's really cool I don't think she's doing that lately because obviously they're gonna have a grand opening when they move but uh you know it's cool that she does that and it's very cool because they also do like easter egg hunts and stuff like that um like scavenger hunts i mean so i haven't seen that one in a while toasted sherry oak barrels and this one's the stout again they got that smoke wagon the crown blackberry that everybody's looking for they got that muckety muck there so pretty good stuff like like i said they usually have some of these locked up because they have allocated in there but they don't have that right now because she's saving stuff for um when they move now she just did a um she just did do a easter egg hunt for easter so that is pretty cool Either way, she did give a lot of allocated bourbons at MSRP, so. Let's move over to their uh, single barrel store picks. All right, so here are their store picks. A lot of great store picks. So we got that Restoration Rye, only 56 bucks. The Pillar, some Old Elk, Wheat Whiskey. I might get this, all right? This is the Yellowstone. Look at that. 119 proof and only 59 bucks you cannot beat that i love rare character and i'm definitely interested in this what gets me is that this is an amberana finish cask so mm, you know you guys know i do not like amberana so that's the whole thing i might get this ride three light whiskey my only thing is that I'm gonna pick one up from MDP Liquors because they have an event coming up. So I might have to pass on that. So three new barrel picks, which is the Rebel, the Ezra, and the Yellowstone. Okay. I got the Knob Creek as well. You know, this is a good one. You cannot beat that price and how good that is. And then in the back, they have samples of all the barrel picks. So you guys can definitely all look at that got some uh, old elks here the sour mash blended got a lot of old elks this is probably my favorite one from old elk got some more stuff here big storm Johnny Drum, Pure Kentucky. This Yellowstone Toasted is really good. I heard really good things of it. And again, guys, just remember, like everything is with taxes included. We got some Redwood Empire down there. And then if we turn around here, we got some more uh, smoke wagons, broken barrel. Have you guys heard that they're gonna change the smoke wagon, uncut the younger, to like, I don't, I don't know what it's called, Desert Star or something like that. But if you guys see that, just know that uh, that's the same. It's basically uncut the younger. They're gonna do it a little bit different, but it's still the same thing, right? All right, so. I think we're gonna go with that Yellowstone. And uh, yeah, we're gonna support our local businesses here. So we'll go with that one. Yeah, but that Light 3, I mean the Ride 3, the Light Whiskey. Wish I could get that right now. All right guys, well this is First Stab Liquors. Let me know if you come down to the St. Petersburg area. Here we got some Billet Bourbon, didn't show that. That's that new 95 12 year rye. 
and uh, the Bull and Ten Year. But uh, let me know if you come down to the St. Petersburg area. Awesome, awesome store. Marsha is an awesome owner. And uh, yeah, we'll go and uh, check out where they're moving to right now. All right, guys, so we just left First Staff Liquors. You know, it was a little weird because I know they're, they're definitely moving stuff around, but it doesn't look that way all the time. It looks a lot better. And what, two, two things down, two doors down or three doors down is their new area. Obviously we can't go in there right now because it's locked up, but they're doing a bunch of construction in there. They're gonna have a bar in the back. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome place when it's all finished. A lot bigger, a lot more stuff. She's still gonna be um, doing the tastings. She's gonna be doing, well, actually she's gonna be doing more tastings. She's gonna be doing the scavenger hunt. She's gonna be doing a lot of stuff. Marsha is an awesome, awesome person, a great owner. And uh, everybody that comes here to First Ave Liquors definitely has great stuff to say. They are awesome. I thank them for letting me record in there. And guys, like I said, if you're in the St. Petersburg area, you gotta come down to First Ave Liquors. They're moving here, I believe, end of April, early May. So they might be here already when you come down, but if not, they're just two doors down at the old location. Well guys, please um, do me those favors. Please like, dislike, comment below. Have you heard about First Ave Liquors? What do you think of what I just showed you? Um, like I said, they have a tasting room in the back, which I could have gone and tasted some stuff, but I am in a kind of in a hurry. But um, please subscribe. And lastly, enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Cheers.